So let me keep it real with you guys. This is going to be a makeup tutorial as usual, but with a twist. I just really want to show what real makeup application looks like and also going to take apart a few things that you see online that aren't real. So this is the makeup I'm going to be showing you. It looks very smooth, blurred, you know, perfect you could say, but let's really get into it and get rid of the lighting and show you what real skin looks like. I won't be mentioning any products I used in this video, but they will all be linked down below, so just check that out if you want to find out what I used. So yeah, this is my skin with nothing on it. This is my skin when it's actually doing quite well. You can see a few scars, a few blemishes, but all in all, I think it looks quite healthy. One thing I do struggle with, and a few things I do struggle with actually with my skin is discoloration, and I tend to see that around my eye area and my nose, I can see a lot of blood vessels very clearly, which means my skin is very thin. It also does scar very easily, but the scars do fade very quickly, which is very weird. But I have to be extra cautious when trying new products out for that reason. Now, despite having these skin concerns, I will always, on most occasions, opt for a lightweight foundation because I feel like that's what makes my skin look best and it's what I feel most comfortable in. Now, this is my personal preference, but one key message I want to give in this video is no matter what your preference is with makeup, no matter how lightweight or full coverage your foundation or makeup is, it will never look like skin or be skin. Now this is simply because makeup is designed to sit on your skin and not sink into it. When it starts sinking into it, that's when you have issues. And of course, again, personal preference. Sometimes we do wanna look like we have makeup on. We want everyone to know that we spent four hours on an eyeshadow look. But when we start comparing our skin to the befores and afters, images online and stuff like that, that's when the real issue arises. We start expecting things that are just simply unrealistic with makeup and just things that makeup isn't designed to do and that's when our self-esteem goes down and then we start comparing to others and things just get really negative from there and it turns the whole experience really negative now i love makeup i have products that i cannot live without i have favorites things that i genuinely genuinely love but one thing i always remind myself of is that this is not going to look like how in my head i want my true self to look like i'm expecting this to cover all my scars, this, that, the other, but really they are always going to be there and I am okay with it, that's what I tell myself. Social media already has a very, very big part to play in, self-esteem, comparing to others and stuff like that seeing images that are very unrealistic and makeup is another example of comparing unrealistic standards this doesn't always mean photoshopping and things like that it's just simple things like lighting angles one thing to always remember is that on social media people only put out the best version of themselves even you may be a victim of this picking the best picture that you have where your makeup looks the best your body looks the best and stuff like that you cannot compare yourself to these things. On YouTube, Instagram, any platform, people use lighting, artificial lighting that makes their skin just by default, just look better. Not that they're intentionally trying to make it look better, but that's just what the lighting does. And you can really tell the difference between natural lighting and artificial. I use artificial, I'm using artificial in this video. And sometimes it does make your skin look worse, sometimes it makes it look better. But it's just these tips and tricks that really just change how things are perceived. I always suggest doing your makeup in front of a window so you get natural lighting and really see what the makeup looks like in person so you can try your best to blend it how you want it and just really make it end up how you envision in your mind. You can just simply see by comparing the makeup in the beginning video that I included and then the makeup in this video that there is a big difference and they are literally the same day, same makeup, same everything just different lighting, different angles. The one in the beginning looks super blurred out, super blended, effortless, seamless, and that's just simply what sunlight does, which is why so many people love golden hour. I love golden hour, it just makes me look better. But I just want you to remember that this video is filmed with artificial lighting. You can see up close and personal what the makeup would actually look like in person. You can see pores, you can see textures, you can see scars, you can see bumps, and that is completely normal. Everyone has these things, and we should stop comparing our skin to those that we see online because it's just not reality. I hope you can help me spread this message, and I hope this has helped you love yourself some more. Thank you so much, guys.